Welcome back to Cam K. Today we are going to be doing a painting that looks like marble. So you're going to need diluted paint, which is just paint with water. And I can show you how you should, like, the consistency should be. Just squeeze some paint out of a regular paint jar, a regular paint Anything that has paint. Yeah. That's a lot of paint. I thought this was empty, but turns out it has so much paint in it. No. Right? I need a brush to get it out. I'm sweeping from the bottom. Ha! Huh. How much paint that is. Do, 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 do. I think that's all the paint we could get out. Yep, that's all the paint we got in there. You can also mix the colors up. Hmm. Actually, I want to add some purple in to this. And then you're gonna get all the paint you want, and you can pick any colors you. Any colors you want to put in here. I recommend using four colors, but you don't have to. That's a lot. I never knew that much was even in this empty paint. That splattered me. And then you're gonna add some water. And mix it. Okay. And then, like, you don't, you want it to be, like, very runny. You don't want it to be too dry. You want it to be very, very runny. So it could drip off. Like this, you might think it's very runny. It's not even coming out. It's very, coming out very slow. So you need more water? Yep. And lots of lots of water. If it's too wet, you could add paint. That's enough. I'll just mix this one and we'll get pouring. So you just want to dump that old water. And you want to spray your canvas. You could use an old canvas or a new canvas. It looks like water. So it could run. And then choose your color combinations. So I chose some gold, so I'm gonna pour some gold in, in a circle. 
So overcoating every little corner. Then I, you can add another color. I'm going to use white. It's not very circled. Then I'm going to add uh, the purple. I mean the pink. I forgot my colors. Then I'm going to add the blue and purple. And then you can repeat it. You could go another gold, then more white. I dropped white. White's not going to be happy. You don't have to do it in an order. You just you can do like um, any order you want, but I want to do it in order because I think it looks better. This is going to have a lot of extras. <laughs> Whoa. Globs. And then another. That's a lot of paint. It's okay if you get some paint on there because on uh, the canvas because you're gonna cover it anyways. And this is gonna be hopefully my last round of pouring. One paint. Try to use all your paint so it doesn't go to waste. Then add your, I forgot the order. Add the last bits of purple in and the last bit of purple in. That's it for the <laughs> pour for the <laughs> putting in the in. Now you uh, just kind of shake it up. If you want to add more water, you can. Then you pour it in carefully. You want to start in the middle. There's really no way you could pour it. You could pour it anyway. There's no right and no wrong. Well, there's a right. There's a, always a right, but there's no wrong. And look how beautiful it looks. It looks very nice. Now, you can Swirl it around. It doesn't. It you don't. It will just fall. See how easily it drips. That drip. Let's. Whoa. It's kind of cool with the rainbow. You can get the sides if you want. That way. Oh my god. Look. See all the paint. Trying to cover all of it. Whoa. And 
that's it. And then you got your painting. You can just cover that spot. And that is how you make the painting. Try this at home and let it dry for a long time. It might take two days or three days to dry. Thanks for watching. Bye!